Everybody to your mat. We're gonna start in a seated meditation like we love. Just grounding and finding our space. Breathing deeply, connecting with your body and your breath. Finding yourself, really coming to terms with this present moment, this present feeling in your body and in your mind. See if you're breathing deep, long breaths or short, shallow breaths, and it's okay if you are without any judgment, just trying to find that deep breath. If you count your breaths and you find that you're at a 1-1 one, one, or a 2-2, two, two, let's try to get it to a 3-3 three, three, or a 4-4. Four, four. Really lengthening your inhales and your exhales. Forward, and we'll stand on our feet. 
we'll do a couple head circles. Warming up the neck and the shoulders, releasing any tension in these areas. And switching direction. Come to the top of the mat and begin our sun salutations. Big toe to big toe. Inhale the hands up. Exhale, come forward, forward fold. Head to knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Look forward, long spine. Bring your hands to the ground. Hold your breath. Walk your feet back to plank. Exhale into your chaturanga. You can do it with knees on the ground or in your plank position. We'll lean forward. Exhale as you lower down, keeping the elbows close to your body. Inhale, up dog. Legs are off the ground, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, tuck the toes under, downward dog. Five deep breaths here. Rearrange yourself if needed. Legs, hips distance, hands, arms, uh, shoulder distance. One. Two. Three. Four, five. Look forward. We're gonna try to jump now in between our transitions, keeping the weight on our feet. So instead of walking or stepping, look forward in between your hands. Go into your tippy toes, bend your knees for momentum, and hop to the front of the mat. Nice. You don't have to hop high or lift your hips above your shoulders. Just mini hops now, getting used to it, getting used to bringing weight onto our hands. Inhale, forward, halfway lift. Exhale, head to knees, forward fold. Inhale up. Exhale, samasthiti rest. Nice, we'll do two more of sun salutations in. Inhale up. Exhale down. Instead of walking or stepping, let's try jumping back now. Bend the knees, get momentum, plant your hands strongly onto the ground, and hop back into your plank. Nice. From here, we're gonna go down to Chaturanga. You can do it on your knees or from plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Five breaths. Move the weight to your feet. Not, don't keep them in your hands. One. Two. Three. Four, five, look forward and hop all the way to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, head to knees. Inhale, rise. Exhale, rest. Last one. Inhale up. Exhale down. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant those hands, jump back into your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Five breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Look forward, go into your tippy toes, bend those knees and jump all the way forward, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold, inhale, rise, exhale, rest. Beautiful, we'll do two rounds of Sun B now. Inhale, coming into your chair pose, lifting the hands forward, dropping the hips, bending in the knees, look towards your fingertips. Exhale, coming to the ground, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, drop the hands, hold your breath, jump back. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful. We'll lift that right leg towards the sky and in between our hands. Preparing us for warrior one, we're gonna drop that back heel. Make sure the knee's over your ankle. Inhale, rise. Exhale, come all the way back down. Bring that back leg to meet your other leg. Coming down, chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Other side. Lift that left leg towards the sky. 
and in between your hips. Prepare for warrior one, drop that back heel, make sure the knee's over your ankle. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, back to ground. Left leg back. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Five deep breaths. One. Two, move that weight towards your feet. Three. Four. Five, look forward, go into your tippy toes, bend those knees, and jump all the way to your hands. Inhale, look forward, long spine, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up into your chair pose, bend those knees, look up towards your fingers. Exhale, rest. Last round to make sure we're properly warmed up here. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Drop those hands, hold your breath, jump back. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Lift that right leg towards the sky. In between your hands, prepare for warrior one. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Bring that right leg back. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left side, lift that left leg and bring it in between your hands. Prepare for warrior one, drop that right heel into the ground. Inhale up, exhale back down. Left leg comes back, chaturanga, all the way down. Inhale up dog, exhale down dog. Five deep breaths. One, two, Three, four, five. Look forward, bend those knees, jump all the way. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale into your chair pose, bend those knees. Exhale, rest. Take a moment, open your hands, open your fingers, close your eyes. Feel the energy rushing through your body. Breathe deeply. See if you can lower your heart rate with your deep breaths. Controlling your nervous system. Beautiful. You're gonna bring the feet together. Inhale the hands up. Exhale, lower all the way down, coming into Uttanasana. We'll bring our peace sign fingers to our inner big toe. Inhale, look forward like a halfway lift in sun salutation. Exhale, pull, pull into your toes, bringing your elbows outwards and head to knee. One, two, three. Use your breath as a tool. Every exhale, going a centimeter deeper. Four, five, look forward, inhale, remove your hands from your big toe, exhale, we're going to place our hands under our feet, massaging our hands, coming into Spadahastasana. The toes should be touching your wrist joint. Inhale, look forward, exhale, head to knees, feel free to bend your knees as much as you need to make this happen. Make your toes touch your wrist. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, look forward, release your hands, open the feet to hips distance, and exhale, come into a mini yogi squat here. Bring the hands right in front of you and feel your upper arm, your tricep hitting your knee. As you can see, this is what your crow pose should look like. Flex your hands as if you're pressing onto the ground. This is what your crow pose will look like. We're gonna go into our first arm balance right now. 
So really channel this pose right here with your knees on your triceps or maybe to your outer arm. And we're gonna slowly bring our hands back down to the ground, exactly where they are, shoulder hip, shoulder distance. Our knees are on our triceps or on our outer arms. And we're gonna lift up onto our toes and slowly lean forward, making sure our arms are slowly coming to 90 degrees and really pressing our legs against our arms. Look forward, breathe deeply and start playing, maybe lifting one foot or maybe lifting both feet. Playing around. Couple rounds of these. If you fall, just get back up, it's okay. Beautiful. One more time. Placing the hands fully on the ground, spread your fingertips, create a strong base, lean forward, bend those arms coming to 90 degrees. Look forward, breathe deeply, lift one leg, and then the other, squeeze the legs together on your arms. Beautiful. Placing the hands back down into the mat, come back into your plank, vinyasa, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. We're gonna bring that left leg up towards the sky, in between our hands, windmill up. Beautiful. Your legs should be ready for trikonasana. Left leg is straight with the direction of the mat. Right leg is pointed outwards. Inhale the hands to, to shoulder height, palms facing down. Exhale, bring that right hip all the way back towards your right foot as much as you can, keep going. Don't drop the arms yet. And then slowly twist down. You can grab your big toe, place your hand on your shin, or rest your elbow on your knee. Those are the three variations. Or if you have a big book or a block, you can place your hand on that as well. Right hand comes up towards the sky in line with your left hand. Look up towards your right hand. Bring that right hip forward and your chest back as if you're leaning against a wall. Breathe deeply. Beautiful, inhale, come all the way back up. Twist your feet, exhale. Inhale, lengthen in your spine, arms reaching outwards. Exhale, bring that left hip all the way back. Hip. And lower down all the way. Either grabbing your big toe, hand on your thigh, or on your knee with your elbow. Left arm up towards the sky in line with your right arm. Bring that hip forward and that chest backwards as if you're leaning against the wall. Breathe deeply. Open that chest forward. Inhale, come up. Exhale, turn the feet again. So bring your right leg a little bit more back until your knee becomes in line with your ankle. If you need to bring the leg forward or back seat where your back leg needs to be so that your knee is over your ankle. Inhale, the hands up to shoulder height. Exhale, bring that left hand to the outer um, side of your left foot. Inhale, that right hand up. Side angle. Breathe deeply. For an extra challenge here, you can bring that arm overhead in line with the body or keep it up here. Look up towards your right hand. Beautiful. Inhale, come back up. Switch sides. Again, making sure that knee is over your ankle, like in a warrior two. Inhale, lengthen in the spine. Stretch out those fingers. Exhale, slowly lower down, bringing that right hand to your outer right foot. You can rest your chest on your thigh here to help you open the chest forward and up. Left hand comes up in line with your hand, with your right hand. Breathe deeply, looking up towards your left hand.
One more deep breath. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, lower the hands down. We're gonna come into a wide angle fold, bringing the feet more inward than outward. Inhale, the hands up. Exhale, come to the ground, bringing your hands in between your feet. And the direction here is getting that head towards the ground. You don't need to open your wide angle too far to really get your head to the ground. You want to stay in like a medium wide angle here because we still want room for this long straight spine. Breathe deeply. We're going to play around here. If your head is on the ground, put more weight into your head and come onto the, the toes of your feet, putting more weight onto your hand and to your head, almost like a headstand. Just playing around here. If you can, press into your hands and bring your legs inwards to bring them on top of your arms. <coughs> if you want, you can choose to come into a, a headstand here with hands, with the weight of your hands helping you. Or you can stay with your legs on your triceps, almost like a crow pose, but with your head on the ground. And slowly widen the legs again, coming back into your wide angle fold and lift up. Inhale all the way. Exhale, close the feet. We'll close them a little bit wider than hips distance. And inhale the hands up. Exhale, come all the way down to the ground, taking a moment here to dangle. Release any tension that you might have felt in your head or neck from that uh, wide angle headstand practice. And we'll turn towards the front of our mat, coming into a plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. And we're gonna jump to a seated cook. <sighs> Playing around here. Bringing your feet together, hard flex towards your body. Trying to find this 90 degree angle with the body. Hands come by the hips. Press into your fingertips, the lengthening in your spine, opening the chest forward, shoulders back. Five deep breaths here. One. Two. Three, four, five. Inhale the hands up. Exhale, come forward to a forward fold. Five breaths. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale the hands up. Exhale, place the hands, one hand behind you, coming into reverse plank. Inhale, the hips come up, and the direction here is to get your toes to the ground. Press into your hands. Look back, release the neck. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly lower down. We're gonna bring that right leg towards you and baby cradle that leg for a moment. Shaking, you're gonna bring that foot into your elbow joint and knee into your opposite elbow joint and hug that leg towards you, rocking side to side, baby cradle. We really wanna warm up this hip right now before we come into our next arm balance. Inhale, the Keep bringing that leg closer to you and closer to you. Rocking side to side. And 
From here, we're gonna bring that leg all the way back, pull that foot to get that knee behind you, doing a couple of these. Pulling the foot towards you, knee comes behind you. Nice. From here, we'll lift our leg and bring it onto our shoulder. It can also be on your upper arm. What's important here is that you lock the leg on your arm. If you're not gonna squeeze this leg on your shoulder or on your upper arm, it's just gonna slip. So it doesn't matter how flexible you are, as long as you're really squeezing here, you'll have a good enough grip to get off the ground. Just keep squeezing, never stop squeezing. Bring your hands by your hips and push up the ground to lift your hips up. Beautiful. If you want to try a little bit more here, lift that left leg up as well. Coming into elephant trunk pose. Beautiful. Try a couple more times, maybe re-tightening that lock here. Point both of your feet to make sure they're both super activated. Hands by the hips. Lift the hips up. Maybe lifting that left leg up. Try one more time. Locking that leg on the arm. Lift the hips. Lift that left leg. Elephant trunk pose. Then slowly lower down. Let's switch sides. Bring that left leg to baby cradle. Really rocking intensively here. You really want to open up that hip joint. Bringing the leg closer and closer to your body as it warms up, as it loosens up. And when you're ready, grabbing the feet, pulling the knee backwards, pulling the knee behind you. And lifting the leg, locking it on the shoulder, locking it down, put that left hand down on the ground and lock the foot. Point the foot to make sure it's super activated. Hands come by the hips, lift up the hips, maybe lifting that right leg. Lower down, try again. Locking the leg again, making sure you're really pressing onto your arm here. Hands come by the hips, lift those hips, lift that right leg. Play it around here. You can also just stay here with your hips lifted up, pressing into your hands, building that wrist strength and that arm strength. One more time. And lower down. Amazing. From here, we'll cross our legs. Jump back. Vinyasa. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. And jump forward to a seat. You're gonna come into boat pose. Making sure we're strengthening our back and our core as well. Sitting on your sit bones, lifting the legs before you curl onto your lower back. Hands come by the legs, five breaths. One, make sure you're lengthening in the spine, opening the heart. Two. Three, four, five. Cross the legs, lift the whole body just for a second. Again, coming back into boat pose. Hands forward, five breaths. One, two, three, four, Five, do an opposite cross of what you did before. Lift the whole body again. Last time. Legs come forward, make sure you're sitting on your sit bones and not your lower back. Hands by your legs, five breaths. One. Two. Three, lengthen in the back, open the chest. Four. Five. Cross over, lift the whole body, and jump through. 
Vinyasa. Plank, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. From here, we're gonna walk our feet forward. Coming into our last arm balance posture, shoulder press pose, Bhujangasana. And Bhujra Pidasana, sorry. <laughs> Our feet are a bit wider than hips distance to give us room to come underneath. We're gonna bring our hands right behind our feet. Bend your knees as much as you need. Your whole palm won't get on the floor until you start to sit in your posture. And you're sitting on your arms now. Bring your feet together towards the center of the mat and lock your feet together, crossing them over. Keep your head low, it will help in the balance. And slowly start to lift your feet off the ground, pressing into your hands, working with your body weight here, forward and backwards. Keep trying, keep going. Lean forward, bend the elbows. Beautiful. We're gonna jump back into vinyasa. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. And walk or jump forward to go onto our backs. Before we end the practice, just doing a couple knee circles, massaging the lower back, getting off of our hands for a moment. You can shake out the hands. Let them loosen up before our last practice on our hands. We went through three arm balance poses. And we did elephant trunk pose, we did shoulder press, we did crow. We also played around with our headstand with the hands out. You have to change direction in the knee, change direction. And come back up. We're gonna be on our hands now for some last practice on our hands. We're gonna practice handstand jumps. And don't worry, all we're gonna practice here is looking in between our hands, jumping with one leg up and landing on the other one. Jump and land on the other one. Jump and land. You don't have to go high. Just practicing to put weight into your hands here, looking in between your hands. One leg up towards the sky. Jump and switch. Jump and switch. And as you keep going, see if you can make the landing a little bit more quiet, a little bit more light, having a little bit more control. So just keep practicing. <clears throat> A couple more of these, and then we'll finish in our Shavasana. <sighs> Beautiful. Come to a seat, and lay on your back for Shavasana. The feet will be a little bit wider than hips distance, maybe as wide as the mat or more. Hands by your hips, palms up. And breathe deeply. Feel the power and the energy that's going on in your hands right now. so important to build strength in our hands as we usually never spend any time on them.
free to stay in the Shavasana, or you can meet me in a seated pose, whatever seated pose you want. Keep your eyes closed, just feeling the movement, feeling the change in your circulation flowing down through your body. As you make your way to your comfortable seated pose, return to your normal breath. Feel the power in your shoulders and hands and upper body that we channeled and used today in our practice. Bring your hands to heart center. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, I'm here for anything.